Good morning and welcome to our service of Holy Eucharist this beautiful Sunday morning. For the Lord has risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. And so a very warm welcome, whether you are following the service through your worship sheet or you are following the service online or whether you have joined us in the church at St. Paul's or St. Mary's. And so we begin our worship. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. The Lord bless you. All of us mess up from time to time, I know I do, and we need to recognise our need for God's grace and mercy and his forgiveness in our lives. Christ calls us to share the heavenly banquet of his love with all the saints in earth and in heaven. And so knowing our unworthiness and sin, let us ask from God, for both his mercy and his forgiveness. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. Lord, in your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Holy Spirit and raise you to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. collect. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us 
that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verses 12 to 19. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by your own power or godliness we had made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed and you disowned him before Pilate, though he had decided to let him go. You disowned the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released for you. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Now, fellow Israelites, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your leaders. But this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia. He has defeated the power of death. Alleluia. 
Jesus turns our sorrow into dancing. Alleluia. Jesus has the words of eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate in their presence. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the laws, law of Moses and prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us declare our faith together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. God of our lives, we give you thanks for the life of Prince Philip, for his love of our country and for his devotion to duty. We entrust him now to your love and mercy through our Redeemer Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry and nourish us all with your word. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life. Be with us and all who follow you in the way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, Good Shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. We pray for Joshua Lee, Klaus Kaiser, Anne Templey, Joyce Lane, Jean Bowley, Michael Gray, Vincent Nash, June Shilton, Sue and John Thorne, Stan Michalski. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. Raise us with them to eternal life. We remember before God those who have died, and we pray that God's love will surround all who mourn them now and always. 
We give you thanks for all those whom we have loved, but who have gone ahead of us. We pray for the repose of the soul of Jean Hughes Vado and Vera Allen. From St Paul's Book of Remembrance, Irene Lynch, Vera Alma Woodford, Maxie Max Hall, Joseph Ernest Bowley. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. And so let us share the peace together. Alleluia! Christ has been raised from the dead. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy and peace. So if we live in the Holy Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all. And so we turn now to our Eucharistic prayer. As gift I have received you, O Christ, and as gift I offer you to the world. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. In your loving care, you spread before us the altar of life and give us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of our Saviour and our Good Shepherd, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, we give you thanks and praise for the gospel that we have received. For Christ died for our sins. Alleluia. Death comes to all through Adam. And sin reigns for a time. New life without end comes through Jesus Christ, and he reigns forever. Alleluia. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? For death is swallowed up in victory, the victory you give us in Jesus Christ. We have been crucified with Christ and live his risen life to praise you forever and ever with all the saints, angels and archangels. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and on these gifts that broken bread and wine outpoured may become unto us the most precious body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, shared it with them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the saviour of the world. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people and gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Mary, the mother of God, blessed Peter and blessed Paul and all the saints to be with you forever at your table in heaven. Through Christ, with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours. O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And so believing the promise of God as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb, now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So for those of you at home as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us make an act of spiritual communion together as we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so let us give thanks to God who has fed us in this holy sacrament. As we say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Dear friends, if you were to turn on the television tonight or to pick up the evening newspaper tonight, what good news would you want to read? What is the good news you would want to hear? It's the good news of Easter, but what is the message that we are sharing with those around us? Surely, is that Jesus died and rose again for all of humanity. That's you and I. 
So let's share that message and tell others that God loves you. He loves you unconditionally. The Holy Spirit loves you and longs to make his home in your heart. And Jesus loves you. So whatever this year may bring, folks, let's keep our eyes firmly fixed on Jesus and share the good news of the message of salvation that Jesus came to bring. For the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Amen. And so pray, bow your heads to receive God's blessing. Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon each and every one of you now and forever. Amen.